Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Media. I'm Andrew. In this channel, we're going to look at disruptive companies to unlock exponential gains. Disruptive companies look at solving an issue in innovative ways. If you like what you hear, consider subscribing to the channel. And today, I'm very, very excited to introduce to you a play that I really like. So watch until the end and let me know if you agree with me. Okay, so this play I'm pretty excited about is trading in the OTC market right now. And although it's a penny stock, but it is tied to really big names. For that reason, I think this company is going to be big. So the company is called Saddle Ranch Media. The ticker symbol is SRMX, although it actually is Sky Fidelity. Saddle Ranch Media and Sky Fidelity merge, and they were going to change the name, um, but they haven't gotten around to it. So for the time being, they're trading under SRMX. So Sky Fidelity, one of their subsidiaries is Tri Cascade. Tri Cascade was acquired by them in 2016. And all of the good news, all of their links to big names is through Tri Cascade. Let's just quickly get some background information on the company. Saddle Ranch Media, uh, they're based in California. They're in the technology sector. Uh, the industry is scientific and technical instruments. They have 10 full-time employees. They have a working phone number and a website. Although it is Saddleback, but it actually is Sky Fidelity, okay? And so this is what they do. It is a diversified technology company, provides cloud managed services, IoT, as well as solar power, satellite broadband, and Wi-Fi camera surveillance solutions. The company offers IoT for businesses and consumers. An iBright 7X smart search protector and Wi-Fi enable home energy management tool. It also offers satellite broadband solutions that are used in the Caribbean master dual mode tracking, education, emergency backup, mobile data, oil, and gas site, RV and mobile home, supervisory control and data acquisition, telemedicine and yacht and boat applications for live streaming video. So basically thing that's internet-based communications. So what makes this company great is the fact that TriCascade, which is a subsidiary of SRMX, is T-Mobile's authorized IoT service provider, offering T-Mobile IoT con connectivity from device integration to SIM activation onboarding, secured with Microsoft's Azure IoT hub device management platform. And TriCascade has positioned itself to become the leading innovator, manufacturer, and distributor of the most sophisticated, compelling, and patent smart city and smart house IoT devices to an to enable future AI lifestyle. The company's solutions include NB, IoT, ambient, outdoor, and indoor air quality monitors, and the first of its kind self-internet smart thermostats with AI recognitions throughout the house. In addition, smart outlet, smart dimmer, and many other smart house solutions are now emerging from TriCatscape's product development from NB IoT and Cat1 to its 5G communications edge gateway. TriCascade integrates the entire IoT manufacturing supply chain with innovative system integration services. They provide IoT solutions. And there's a website and you can visit. So I'm reading through all of this and I said, what the heck is IoT? The Internet of Things. I have no idea what that means. So just like everyone, I Google. And this is what Google says. The Internet of Things describes the network of physical objects or things that are embedded with sensors, software, and other technologies for other purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the internet. So I said, I still don't understand what exactly that is. I Google some uh, real life examples of IoT. Real life world examples of IoT are wearable fitness and trackers like Fitbits and IoT healthcare applications, voice assistants like Siri and Alexa, smart cars, Tesla, and smart appliances iRobot. This is so relevant because these are the things that we use in our daily lives. So I went on to the website to look at one of their publications on their partnership with T-Mobile. And it says on August 6, 2020, T-Mobile CEO Michael Sivert said that surpassing AT&T was a huge milestone in a statement highlighting the company's subscription numbers for the first time since its merger with Sprint on April 1st. T-Mobile added 1.2 million customers in the second quarter, bringing its total numbers of customers to 98.3 million. So what I'm reading here is saying that T-Mobile is a better partner than AT&T. This is certainly good news for 
SRMX. And on the website, I found this letter from the CEO, Max Lee, to shareholders on February 18, 2020. These are the things that caught my attention. The first bullet point, it says that they've cemented a close and strong alliance with ASCII Computer Corporation in Taiwan. They also enter into a partnership with Chenghua Telecom for IoT smart city platform development for the North America market. And Trice Cascade will integrate T-Mobile IoT to Chenghua's existing IoT platform. The third one, they're saying that as a continuance of their close relationship with Microsoft, Tri Cascade has kicked off its Azure Sphere development with T-Mobile LTE slash IoT solution. And I know that for investors who have already invested into our SRMX, they know that there is a partnership with Microsoft and um, T-Mobile. Their link to SpaceX's Starlink is what excites me. This link is based on an article written by Michael Kahn on October 20th, 2020. The title is SpaceX's Starlink to supply satellite internet to Microsoft's modular data centers. The partnership is a part of Microsoft's Azure Space Program, which is supplying its cloud computing technologies to space-related missions. So as SpaceX prepares to supply satellite broadband to consumers, the company is also looking to apply the same technology to Microsoft remote data centers. On Tuesday, the two companies announced that SpaceX's Starlink system will provide satellite in internet to Microsoft's Azure modular data centers, which can operate in areas far away from ground-based fiber internet cables. If SRMX already have established a partnership with Microsoft Azure. So that's their link to Starlink. That makes sense to me. So for that reason, I think this is definitely a winning play for what is the price that it's trading now. I think it's a good deal. I hope that you found today's video helpful. Until next time, take care.